Hi there, everyone, and welcome to episode seven. This is Alex Muir, helping millennial professionals reach peak mental and physical performance. And again, this is episode seven, a daily routine for a healthy body and mind. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a few tips, a few of these tips, which I've talked about in my uh, po latest podcast episode, um, where I talked about my success strategies from 2019, my top success strategies from 2019, and I talked about um, my top six things that I usually accomplish in my daily routine. Now again, how do I do this? How do we accomplish most of the things or all the things that we wanna get done in our daily routine? It starts from here. If you think you can do it, then you, you will be able to do it. Now, now it starts from the mind, and how do we get the mind prepped? We make sure that we have strict um, timelines or as much as we can on the things that we want to get done. And that all starts the night before. So when you're looking to develop a daily routine, it all starts on, first of all, mapping out your day ahead of time. So what I recommend doing is get yourself a notepad or a journal or a calendar and map out what you want to do the day prior. So I find I'm always the most successful on this, getting in my, my exercise, getting in my meditation when I write it down the day before or I put a reminder in my calendar app. Those are a few tips. But in, but in order to succeed at any type of routine, you've got to set it up and think about it and visualize it the day before. And to help with that, first thing on the list that you should really focus on is your sleep. How do you get enough sleep? Now I know we have, we all have very busy lives, relationships, priorities, events, kids, families to attend to, but as much as you can, find a way to get in at least seven to eight hours of sleep a night pretty much every day. This will help give you an edge. In fact, this will help give you a 20 to 30% increase in your productivity for the next, the following day. I've noticed this in myself. I've always needed my sleep. If I get less than seven hours of sleep a night for myself, I'm ineffective the next day. I can't think straight. I'm agitated. I get antsy. It's not a good look for me. And I think you guys are might feel the same way. So get your sleep, number one. Number two, find ways to get in good nutrition. And that all, good nutrition all starts with making sure you're drinking enough water in the morning. First thing that, that I do when I wake up every morning, drink two glasses of water. Always drink two glasses of water. And I always like to start the morning with a smoothie protein smoothie. I need to get my eight hours. So in order to get my eight hours, that leaves me only a little bit of time to get ready in the morning. So what do I do? I lay out the clothes I'm going to wear the night before. So I lay out my attire or my professional attire, whatever, you know, whatever industry you're in, whether you wear a suit, a tie, a dress. Um, yeah, you gotta, it's good to set aside that those uh, closed the night before. So the second you get up, all you need is literally half an hour or 20 minutes. For myself, because I wanna maximize my sleep, I make sure I have everything done the night before. My, um, my meals are prepped, so it's good uh, to dedicate at least one or two nights a week to cooking because without the right nutrition, it's gonna affect your sleep and without the right sleep, those two, those two things off, you're not gonna be able to have a very productive day. So figure out what routine works best for you, but I highly recommend um, doing your meal prep on a Sunday for one to two hours. Pick what it is that you're gonna eat for the week, lay out those meals in Tupperware, and do at least three to five meals. Now, that will help you um, keep that energy flow because your day revolves around your energy and your focus revolves around your energy. And the reason why a lot of people's energy suffers is because they're not getting enough sleep, number one. Number two, they're not eating the right foods. 
make sure that you're getting enough sleep, seven, eight hours, and eating the right foods. So that's tip number one and number two. Number three, what is tip number three? Number three is find a way to get in your regular exercise. My recommendation is, because we all live very busy lives, get in a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes. Now this doesn't have to be weight training or um, that kind of exercise. If you're having a really busy week, you've got in, I like to get in a minimum of three weight training sessions per week and then at least one day of cardio. So figure out what your minimum exercise, uh, minimum viable exercise is for the week and shoot for that every week. If you're gonna, you're gonna have some times where you're not gonna need that, but figure out what is what you feel the best on, that's the amount of exercise you need to do. I always feel like a little bit more is better for me. Some weeks, especially when the weather gets nice, you're gonna wanna do more cardio, you're gonna wanna do more, um, more you know, possibly more, more time in the gym or outside. So if that's the case, then have a little bit more time to do exercise. And so that's uh, number three of my daily routine. I always find a way to get something in. At the bare minimum, if I can't get my weight training session in or go to the gym, I'll do seven minutes of yoga. Because again, I don't like to do a lot of stretching, but I need to do it because when you're lifting weights, you get stiff. You gotta loosen up. You gotta keep that, that energy flow. And yoga, I do um, five to six minutes of yoga, usually post-workout after the gym. Um, so I, I actually went to do some cardio tonight. I went on the exercise bike, did some hit cardio on the exercise bike. And as soon as I'm done this video, I'm gonna do some yoga because my lower back is a little bit stiff from doing deadlifts yesterday. So I gotta, you gotta find a way to loosen yourself up. And if that's just doing five to seven minutes of yoga, that's what I'm gonna do. And if I can't make it to the gym, yoga is what I do. So what have we gone over? Sleep, nutrition, exercise, and I've tied in the yoga and the stretching in there. So the yoga and the stretching is number uh, number four in my daily routine. I always usually do that at the end of the day. So because I like to get my sleep, and because I sleep into at least seven, I'm up by 7.15, 7.20, and I try and get off work by four. By the time I get home, uh, it's usually 4.30, close to five, depending on the night, if I have meals already prepped, I'll get ready to go to the gym. And if I've already done a gym session the night before, I usually alternate between weights one day, cardio the next. Or I'll do two days weights, then I'll do the third day cardio. And the cardio is usually just hit training, either on the bike, exercise bike, or doing windmill sprints on the, tr on the um, treadmill. So, yoga and stretching number four on the daily routine. Again, that's tiny, it's just five to seven minutes. So anyone's got five, five minutes or less. Sometimes I'll just do three minutes of stretching. Just really, just pick your static stretches and uh, go from there. And then the next point is, right, yeah. The last point would be I supplement with CBD supplementation. So to help me stay relaxed um, on top of doing the exercise and getting enough sleep, once you've knocked off getting enough sleep and exercising enough, you're gonna find that occasionally you still might have uh, you know, a stressful, a stressful day or a few days of, in the week where you're just a little bit more stressed. That might also be the cause of actually overdoing it. Um, overdoing it at work where you're just you're you're just go 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 and you never give yourself a break i have a bad habit of doing that so what i recommend in that case is um if you can afford it look at supplementing with cbd um cbd oil really helps with helping you relax it keeps you keeps you in a really calm uh meditative state and it feels a lot like you're doing meditation that's very similar or if CBD is like, you're like, you know what, oh dear, I've gotten that before and it's quite pricey, you can also look into doing um, chamomile tea. Uh, that's another thing I do. Um, I use either, I drink uh, lately, because I don't have any caffeine, 
Um, I've cut caffeine out. I used peppermint tea. I had two peppermint teas today. That made the world of a difference. Um, because I haven't got my CBD in the last little bit, but the thing is that CBD does work, so highly recommend it. But if, if you can't do the CBD, do um, some sort of green tea before bed, chamomile tea during the day, some sort of herbal tea, like peppermint or chai or um, you know Earl Grey that's got a tiny, tiny bit of caffeine in it, but not too, too much. And then lastly, yeah, was the meditation. Um, I don't think I mentioned that, but the reason I'm able to get in so much in this routine and again, it helps with a healthy body and healthy mind is because of the, the, the time of each exercise that I do, of each part of my day. It's not a lot. I break things into either half an hour or five to 15 minute chunks. If you're trying to do like an hour this, an hour that, it gets to be a bit much. But when you break things down, you break that hour and you put it down to like 25 minute or, or half an hour, then you can get a lot in, in a short period of time. It's just, you just have to figure out what's a priority for you. And for myself, healthy mind, healthy body is a huge priority for me. So that's what dictates my routine day in and day out. And the lastly, um, the visualization part, Visual, I always visualize what I want to do the night before. So whatever I want to accomplish the next day, I'm already visualizing that the second that I get home. Okay, like what's on the agenda? What do I got to accomplish? What do I want to accomplish? Um, you know, you, you got to figure out what is your, what is the end goal? What am I working towards? And then you, you keep doing those activities that are going to get you there. And the only other thing, two things that I missed in my daily routine is on the morning commute to work, I listen to podcasts or an audiobook. That's how I get in my learning, my mobile learning. And then if I haven't got in my mobile learning for the day, either a podcast or an audiobook, or if I didn't get either of them in for whatever reason, then I will look up something related to my field on an ebook or a blog article. So there you go. There you have it. There is a daily routine for a healthy body and mind.